reconciliation that will put me in my place and there is no time like a present Ooh, what is up guys, of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle from the Mount Moon Battle Association week 6 against, of course, the Pastorian Purloins. And yeah, going into this game, I'm going to be completely honest. Um, I didn't really know what to prep for. His team was really, really, really tough. And he almost brought the team I thought would bring outside of actually Terrakion, which was something I was kind of preparing for a bit too much, actually. So I decided to take an offensive approach and not being too defensive against him. Uh, since he had a lot of walls there that could actually not wall me out necessarily, but definitely were harder to kill as the game went on. So I'm bringing Assault Fist Tangro, we can take the Life Orb, Hurricane if he must do against Tornadoes. And yeah, Wakai Berry, uh, Assume Real to be able to take a Thunderbolt because Waterfall and Aqua Jet do KO a standard Raikou. Scarf Heracross, Scarf Mamoswine, uh, Atomize Metagross with Bullet Punch, um, no, with Meter Mash, I mean. Meter Mash, Ice Fang, no Ice Punch, damn it, and Earthquake. And right here with Stealth Rocks Toxic. And then Stabs. Because Toxic is basically for Cresselia and Tornadoes, which are safe switching for this mon. And uh, I pretty much thought that it could be useful for this particular game. Uh, outside of that, I really had no game plan. I was debating bringing Yellicent over, of course, uh, Asumeril. But ended up taking Yellicent, or I mean Asumeril, just because of the Wakai Berry function. And uh, to easily KO the Raikou. So, anyway, with all of this in mind, guys, let's see how this battle turned out. So, from the get-go, I will be honest here, I did not have an ideal lead here. I do lead off with Tangra, which is fine on its own, but he's gonna lead off with Tornadoes, and I'm being ballsy as all hell, so I'm gonna stay in and go for a knockoff. Basically, if he has a Soul Fist, I'll shut that down, but that is Life Orb damage. Uh, so I knock out Life Orb, which is... Both good and bad. The good part is that we knocked that out. The bad part is that my Sarlax is heavenly weakened. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to use the poem since I do actually know that at least I can take everything he's gonna throw at me, even a grass nut if he's forced to, and I can friend him out with a waterfall. Now he will switch out, go into Raikou. All I was thinking is simply nice. Because, like I said, guys, I know I can take, of course, a Thunderbolt from Raikou, even if his specs, I should be able to deal with it. As you go for the Thunderbolt, and yeah, nom, nom, nom. As for Italian, of course, with a waterfall, and it did way more expected to, of course, but luckily for me, and as I said there, we do have to come with Aqua Jet and Waterfall, and that is enough to KO the Raikou. So we started off really great here, and he's going to Violetta, and I was thinking, all right, this is my chance to probably bring in um, my Tangrove, see what it goes for, then switch back out, basically get the Regenerator going. As you go for Psychic, so, alright, it is a defensive one for sure, that didn't do anything, and uh, since I don't have an investment in, of course, special attack or special events, so I go to Ericut, basically want to see what it's going to do, uh, scouting the T-Wave, which doesn't happen as Reflect, so I'm thinking, hmm, Reflect, probably Moonlight, uh, I don't really know what more, but I'm going to bring this to Troya and go for uh, uh, Toxic, that was basically what was on my mind, and uh, I'll give you guys this. We are going to Toxic this Cresselia, as the Psychic doesn't necessarily do anything to us, or, you know, it, it's varied, but it doesn't really do too much. And here I was starting thinking, you know, should I go for Stone Edge or Earthquake attacking him, or should I bring in Tangrove just trying to stall out any possible turns? And, um, after thinking long and hard, I'm going to basically stay in here and go for Stealth Rocks and then actually decide to switch out. But like I said, I was thinking... Should I Quake here? Should I Sacrifice here? Just go for an Earthquake, hoping to hit switch out to something more safely. I was thinking, no, what the hell? I might as well try to preserve it. It could be a good dead death fodder as the as the game turns on, turns on, goes on, basically. Uh, so he decided to actually switch out on itself, which I thought was kind of surprising. As he goes to Agram, probably going go for those easy rocks. I was thinking, all right, fair enough. Um, I, I'm, I'm having a reason to fear, of course, the Aggron. I mean, it's nothing you really can do as for the flick wears off. So I know I can freely go for an Earthquake, get some damage in there, basically, as you go for Rock. I just want to scout how much I could possibly do as he curse. And I was like, oh. Oh, no. No. And the reason I say no is because I have six physical attackers in, on this team. And don't ask me why I went for Gidrain there, I was basically, you know, in shock here, because I'm thinking, 
he, he he's gonna he's gonna do what my previous week's opponent did and just curse up against me and there's really nothing I can do and uh, yeah I really 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 was thinking you know I can't hurt this guy um, so I'm just gonna bring this destroyer in and all I really can do is go for earthquake uh, I don't have Dragon Tail or Roar, and even if I did, he's just going over Heavy Slam, probably feeling that that's a very big possibility. Uh, but like I said, I'm just going to Quake, and he doesn't do anything, and he's going to go over Heavy Slam, which of course, due to the massive amount of HP my Rhyperior is in, is going to take that out. And uh, I really, really had nothing here. Uh, so I'm going to go for Alpha Max, basically hoping a close combat does something. I am Scarf, which is unfortunate, because I'm Scarf to actually take on Tornadus. It does do, you know, a, a hefty amount of damage, sure, but definitely not enough in contrast to what Heavy Slam does to me. And all I now have is Mammoth Swine, we could go for Earthquake, you know, it's gonna be up there. And then I have to hope for um, a Sumerillo Metagross to kind of wrap this game up. Um, but Earthquake doesn't really do anything, and Heavy Slam will take out my Mammoth Swine. And I am just like face palming right now because I'm feeling, you know, I'm being beaten by such a simple tactic. Uh, so I just used the poem. I was really hoping it didn't go for rest here or anything like that. As we score a crit. Which is fortunate, but the game is actually still over. Uh, I have no reason to, or no, I have no way of actually coming back from this. Sadly, I actually lost. Both losing my both Scarfer here is a major factor. Uh, because now I'm forced to go for a Tornomize with my Metagross, that's really all I can do. As you go for a Psychic on me against Sarlax, doesn't do anything, definitely doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm just going for a Knockout, trying to knock out Leftovers, but the only win conditions I have now is that I somehow get a Tornomize out with Metagross and uh, stall out the Reflect turns. And as you guys kind of feel, it's, um, it's highly unlikely. Uh, it is definitely highly unlikely, sadly, and um, yeah, I just, oh, I'm, I'm disappointed at myself, I didn't necessarily care about the loss itself, uh, which, I, uh, big spoiler really, but um, it is as simple as that, um, I feel that I lost some sort of simple tactics, I definitely was thinking that I got the game, you know, I played the game right, I did exactly what I wanted the game to be at, but it just wasn't working. Alright, I switched out to Metagross here, hoping it would stay in, so I just go for Automize, hoping that I would force him out, so the Reflect turn goes out, but that didn't happen. I do survive the Flare Blitz somehow here, which is kind of nice, but, you know, the game is still over. Um, the Reflect will actually go away now, and uh, I'm somewhat scared in a pretty cool spot where Aqua Jet does kill the Blaziken, but I was thinking that he knew that, so it was no reason for me to go for Aqua Jet here, actually trying to get more damage on Cresselia, because he, he definitely needs switching Cresselia here to survive. But he's gonna go for Flare Blitz anyway. But but I don't know, I mean, I don't know the best place here, obviously. I, I'm, like I said, I got beat him by Curse Agron, so uh, whatever. And um, while I do have a... Um, or I don't have a chance about speeding him here anyway, I did go for a Tornomize here, but Flare Blitz is enough to KO me from this range, and uh, this will actually wrap up the game. So, it's a very unfortunate battle, I do believe. My my opponent had a pretty pretty weird team against me, but then at the same time, uh, it did obviously work kind of nicely here, didn't it? So yeah, I really can't contribute much more to this specific game. Uh, I do believe I played the game right in the beginning, I do believe I had my opponent easily from the get-go. Um, but then Agron came in and things turned kind of sour. Um, the thing is that outside of the Agron, he really wouldn't have a chance of beating me with the team he was bringing. Uh, would have tournament, of course, with my Metagross, I would probably won the game had I pulled that off. Um, bit saddened I didn't do that because his Crusade was mono attacking. I simply crazy set. That is actually one of those sets that I'm, I'm kind of looking back on, like what were you really thinking? Because it was a mono attacking Cresselia, that is... Yeah, I, I mean... That's four times resisted to, of course, Metagross. I don't I don't know what went through his head, all I can say is that that's... That is, that is crazy. Um, whether or not that's optimized for actually re reflect only, I couldn't tell. 
but it feels out of place, it really does. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, my opponent play, win this game fairly, I really have nothing more to kind of say about that. Um, I play this game badly. Um, like, I play the game right from the beginning, I don't act upon the metagross, I lost to that alone. I am lucky that I kind of get some waiver room with the crypt for the superpower, but the game was already over when Mammoth Swine fell, and I had no chance in hell of winning this game. Uh, it was a bad matchup. His sets was really, really optimized for something else, and or, or for this specifically, and it felt kind of out of place. But it is where it is. I know exactly what I have to do to not fall for this simple tactic again. But that's the thing, though. You know, if you're gonna lose, I really, really want to lose to you know some brand ideas, really. But I lost to you know this simple idea, and it worked because it felt so out of place for some reason. And that's obviously my meta coming into place. You know that. That was crazy enough for work for him because I would never have risked some, something like that. Granted that I have actually Jelly in my team, that Mega Iron would not have been able to touch my Jelly Sint, and that kind of blows my mind the more I think about it. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I do lose this game no matter what, and I didn't bring Jelly Sint, and I kind of feel badly because I didn't do that because it would have done the job, and it's ah, it's uh, it's so sour. It really is sour. Uh, but yeah, I actually like it. I, I like the Agron idea. Just a bit saddened that uh, my good plays was really not worth anything when it came to such a simple idea. That that kind of stinks that, you know, for everything I did, I fell for that. Yeah. <laughs> but not to worry, you know, we're back next week and I'm still first for some reason. So I'm not too saddened. I'm just frustrated that I should I, I should have played smarter. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, and of course the brand you know good game and whatnot. I actually enjoyed this game um, mostly because of course the the shift of momentum was just it was just weird uh, and you know you know, you really get those uh, so yeah and with that said obviously I'm just rambling I kind of feel like I'm rambling too much thank you so much everyone for watching I hope you enjoyed this game and you know like I said we'll get back into horse again for sure fire one is is actually kind of okay. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Until then, take care.